Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel, Camping with the Abercrombies. I'm Aaron, and uh, Felicia's hovering around here somewhere. One of these days, I am going to get her in these videos. This is supposed to be a joint effort. But uh, once again, we are uh, spending our vacation here in uh, Lake Placid, New York, at the White Face, uh, White Face Mountain KOA Holiday. And it is pretty much centered in the Adirondack Mountains. I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. But um, it was a very nice drive up here. I, I love the way this campground is set up. And that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, it, it's kind of big, so there's I'm not going to be able to you know walk through all of it. But I can tell you about a lot of the things that they have here, which of course, they it, since it is a holiday, they have a lot of space for uh, kids to play. They have putt-putt, they have two swimming pools. Uh, they, they just have all kinds of stuff around here for them to do. Um, there's a, uh, a snack bar that serves soft serve ice cream, which I have had one small bowl every night. I know I'm not supposed to, but that, that is the best ice cream I've had. Um, one thing I wanted to uh, go over about the park, the reason I'm looking is there's chipmunks everywhere and they're not afraid, so they just run up and you keep seeing them out the corner of your eye. But uh, one of the things I wanted to hit on about this campground that I did not like, which is it's not anything that would definitely not keep me coming back because this place is, is beautiful. To me, it's beautiful. I love it. It's pine needles and stuff everywhere, but it's, it's really nice out here. But uh, one of the negatives, and the only negative that I've seen so far, was when we arrived, we thought we had full hookup. We did not have full hookup. We only had water and electric. But we were only like, I don't know, 25, 50 feet from the shower house there. And uh, yesterday I went over to the main desk and asked the lady if um, I could, if we could switch spots if no one had came in. And usually for a holiday weekend, if it's going to be booked, it would have been booked. So I went over and asked her, and luckily they had uh, a full hookup which was uh, two rows over from where we are now. So we actually packed everything up and drove over two rows and set up again so we would have full hookup because of course our tanks were all full. The only way I could have emptied them was to go to the entrance like I was you know, leaving and empty them out, but then there was not enough room for me to turn around to come back into the campground to circle around. Uh, Otherwise, I would have had to have gone out onto the highway, drove up the road a couple of miles, and found a spot to turn. That was just too much work. So we paid the difference and just upgraded to full hookup, which was great. Uh, one of the things uh, that we did not, that we, one of the problems we had with this campsite was, that, or not the, just the campsite, but this whole area is there's a lot of sand everywhere. Even when we went riding on the motorcycle, there's sand on the side of the roads, and of course, there's sand on the roads, which, which can be dangerous on a bicycle or a motorcycle, so you have to take your time. Uh, but uh, the, camp, the campsite that we're in now is mostly sand. And I had unhooked from the truck and thought I was going to level it, but when the pads came down and everything, they sank in the sand, it was too much of an angle, so I had to hook back up, pull forward, get some wood, you know, level it out a little bit so it wouldn't sink. And uh, I'm going to see if I can show you uh, a little bit of what I'm talking about. Okay, here we go. Uh, as you can see, I tried to use just our blocks first, and that's actually three blocks. You can only see two of them because the third one is down under the ground. This one, I took the wood plank that I usually use for a tongue jack and put it under there so that it would not sink. This is the only side that I needed to lift up a little bit because it was sinking. But when I unhooked the other day, it actually shifted forward, even though I had the tire chocks in there, uh, it shifted forward because it sank so much in the sand. So it, you know, it almost, it was probably about an inch from sliding off. Luckily I had extra blocks to put under there to, you know, keep it from sliding onto the ground. But uh, as you can see, uh, we got our full hookup. Uh, I even went over to the camp store and bought us cable cord. Thanks to our camping buddies, Vic and Corinne, the Real Weekend Warriors. I got tired of seeing them watching all these channels. 
and all we had was uh, DVDs to watch and local stuff, which might have been two or three channels. Okay, real quickly, I'm gonna do our surrounding area. As you can see, up uh, there she is, caught her in the act. She tried to sneak out when I was walking away. Hello. Hi, right, everybody. Say hi, babe. Hi, sweetheart. All right, this, that's Miss Camping with the Abercrombies. And uh, okay, I'm gonna walk over here real quick and show you. Um, as you can see, this is one of the things that I love about this campground. I'm gonna pan around slowly. Look at all of the trees. And if you look up, they're tall trees. All of the trees. And those guys over there, they're kind of far away to see. Those are mostly fifth wheels. But you can see here, actually I can show you right here. This is how much room is in between these campsites. So sister, Corinne, Vic and Corinne, the Real Weekend Warriors, you would love these camping spaces. We are in a pool room. Uh, there's the shower house still. I pointed out the shower house our last, when well, we were in our last location. And as you can see, I'm gonna take you over here to our old space. Okay. Now this is our old space here. As you can see, I just walked across the thing here and uh, this is our old space and once again you can still see all of the trees in between all of the campgrounds and that is I, I just love the space I love it you know no sun for anybody no abundance of sun as you can see from our old site there's the uh, shower house I'm walking back over to our spot hey how you doing yeah, now, by the way, I believe this section here is for primitive tent camping. So the tents are mixed in with the RVs and stuff, you know, which, you know, there were a couple of people here. And honestly, I thought with this being a holiday weekend, it would have been more crowded here. But it's not. But uh, here, I'll try and walk over here to the other side. Show you guys a little bit more. But the density of these trees yeah we've already talked about even coming back you know another year and visiting here so nice uh we were able to go out and get some riding in the last couple of days but i'm not sure what the temperature is in uh columbus but it was uh last night when we came back it was probably 50 degrees outside and on a motorcycle that's chilly going through the mountains then you have people tailgating you and uh you know want you to go faster but if you're not familiar with the roads you're definitely not going to uh be flying down through there you want to try to high step it over here real quick and not keep this video too long for you guys but i did want to show you some of this stuff they also have uh another section that has cabins and tent camping you have to go up a hill a little bit i'm not going to make it over to there but i'm trying to make it back up to the uh, check-in center where all of the activities are they have a restaurant oh. they have a restaurant on top of the main building where they're serving breakfast only because of covid you know it's only open from 8 to 10 which we don't really need to go out to breakfast we bring everything with us here's the main office <clears throat> right here and uh I believe that's the campground host. By the way, the staff here, uh, they were great. You know, the guy that took us back to our spot and moved us to our new spot, Chris, very informative, told us all of the places to go eat and try food and stuff like that. And uh, there was only one place he sent us that wasn't as great as he made it sound, but everything else was okay. Here's the camp store. I'm gonna just walk around really quick <clears throat> and show you because I think I'm running out of space. Okay, there's Putt Putt over there. He's got free ice. Here's the swimming pool. Here. Uh, oh, I thought it was two. It's only one swimming pool, but that's okay. Uh, here's the kids' playground over here. I mean, lots of cool stuff. Way back in the back there are cabins. And 
Uh, oh, washroom. $2 uh, wash and dry. $2 to wash, $2 to dry. Here is the snack bar that serves that delicious soft serve ice cream. And here we are, back out around the building. Uh, here is a map of the campground. I'm sure you guys can't make heads or tails of that. But, uh, yeah. But as you can see, I thought it would have been a little more crowded here on the holiday. But it's, it's not bad at all. But uh, I'm going to cut through some of these spots to get back to our trailer, see if it's a little bit shorter. And I will be back with you in a moment. Okay, everybody, I'm back. <laughs> I didn't want to waste any video just walking through. Oh, there's a tent camper right there. I didn't want to waste any video and cut through everybody's campsites. Also, some of these campsites, the luxury ones, have the concrete pad there. Uh, we didn't get all of that. How you doing? All right. But, uh, yeah. And I know, as you can see, looking at our trailer, it looks like it's leaning, but it's actually level. So I guess this spot isn't a very level spot, but uh, I checked it with the, the bubble leveler and the, um, and the one that's on the trailer itself, the self-leveling mechanism. And we're even, nothing's rolling around in there. We don't feel like we're walking up and down hills. But uh, yeah, this is where we're at. I, I know the videos are usually, I show a lot more of the park, but uh, camping with the Abercrombies and the Hensley. Got us here safely through the mountains. Oh my gosh, I've never appreciated that hitch more than on this trip coming through those mountains with the, uh, with the motorcycle in there. And uh, I thought the last time we had the other bike in there that was the heaviest we'd ever be. I stand corrected. This trip is the heaviest because this bike is heavier than my Hayabusa. But the truck did fine, needs a wash, I owe it a wash and a good wax. It took care of us and got us here safely. And uh, I will try and fill you in on uh, something that we do a little bit later on this week. We got a couple of days left, a couple of adventures to go on. And uh, I'll try to get some footage or pictures of that to share with you guys. All right, everyone, thanks again for watching. Uh, please come back to the channel, like and subscribe. And uh, I will try to get more, more good uh, content for you guys and keep this thing going because I, I want to see how many subscribers I can get. If you're watching, just click the button and subscribe. It's not, it's not that hard. Help you out. Help a brother out. All right, everybody. Thanks again for watching and have a good day. Bye.